Hello there, welcome to another Maths and Mystic Air video. In this uh, video we're going to be looking at question 3 from the 2016 Arithmetic Sample Questions published by the uh, DFES um, earlier this year. So in this example we're looking at um, orders of operations. So if you have a look at the question, we've got 120 subtract 15 multiplied by 5. Now whenever you've got multiple operations you need to be thinking about what order you need to sort these out. And when you think about this, the best way is to remember your bod mass rules. So remember you've got B, which stands for brackets. So if you have any brackets, we deal with those first. After that, we've got the operations, O for operations. There, so this is the order we do our operations. You sort D for division first. Then M for multiplication. So B, O, D, M, A for addition, and finally S from the bod mass, S for subtraction. So if we have a look at our question, we've got uh, a multiply here. So we're going to be dealing with multiplying before division. So we look at bod mass, we can see, uh, sorry, um, multiply before subtraction as the multiply comes before them. So we're going to be dealing with the multiplying first and then the subtraction the second. So if we look here, we've got 15 multiplied by 5 is going to be the first expression we're going to deal with. Then we'll have a look at doing the subtraction the second. Okay, so if we take a look at the second half first, 15 multiplied by 5. So there's a couple of ways you could do this. If you wanted to multiply it in your head, you could just do um, 5 lots of 15. Alternatively, you could do the expanded method where you're going to multiply your tens and then multiply your units. So if we do that, if we do that first, multiply our tens first, 5 times 10 is going to be 50. Then add to the units. 5 times the 5 is going to give you 25. And then 50 add 25 is going to give you 75 altogether. Now one thing which can be really helpful here is um, rewriting the expression, except putting the number you've worked out already. This helps you keep track of what you've calculated and what you haven't. So if we rewrite the number sentence at the beginning now, we've still got 120, we've still got the subtraction, we've not dealt with that yet, but we know that 15 multiplied by 5 is 75. So we can just swap that out, 75 there. So now you can work this out in whichever calculation method you find most helpful. If you wanted to, you could subtract the tens first and then the units. You could maybe subtract 20 first and then subtract the remainder. I'm going to model both of these ways for you to do it. So, if we look at subtracting back to the nearest 100, if we take away 20 first, we're going to end up with 100. And if we take 20 off the 75, it's going to give us 55. Now, we've got 100, subtract 55. Again, a couple of ways you could do this. We could look at subtracting 50, because we know that 100 subtract 50 is going to be 50. So 100 subtract the 50 is going to be 50. And we take them away 50, so 55 subtract 50 is going to leave us with 5. And that leaves us with a very simple subtract to finish, to finish off. 50 subtract 5 is going to give us 45. And that's all the examiners will be looking for in that question there. 45 in the answer box. So quickly, quick to quickly recap, whenever you've got a question which has different operations in it, so in this question we had a subtraction and a multiplication, think of bod mass, B-O-D-M-A-S, B for brackets, O for the operations, D for division, then M for multiplying, then A for addition, and finally S for subtraction. You follow these rules, and then make sure that you deal with each part in the sentence at one part of the time. You should be able to solve any of these you come up against. Remember, if you've got a multi multiplication here, you could have done a long multiplication here. What we did here is we looked at multiplying by partitioning here. Depends on which way you find most helpful. You could also do this using a number line. But there you go. So in this question, we had to look at um, solving arithmetic problems involving multiple operations. I hope you found this helpful. If you are enjoying this video, if you've got any other topics you'd like to see covered on the channel, then why not leave a comment underneath and I will post a video um, to try and solve that problem for you. If you did find it helpful, then why not uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and see if you subscribe to the channel, there'll be more massive videos coming up as the year goes on. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.